put your finger on that one or, or just, just chalk it up to, to a team playing really well and you guys just kind of not, not playing very well? Yeah, you know, the last two days you're wanting to try to turn something and make something happen and it never came. They continued to play great baseball. We continued to not be able to cash in. And as we went, I just thought from the time we got past Jack yesterday, our, our relief pitching even, and, and, you know, not the best start today, probably our worst start. So they just kept drawing their bats closer and closer. And some of the most power I've ever seen at Plainsman Park by an, an opponent. And um, so they played a great three-game series. And, you know, you don't always get an opportunity in this time of the year. You're two weeks into a season to where you, you, you get out the gate and you know that what you're capable of doing some things and then having a three game series to actually absolutely draw you back in and you can kind of see where where young people they're kind of high and low in the short term you know they're either really high from having a lot of success or are really low from feeling like they got something taken from them and they're all the way at the bottom and reality lies somewhere in between and uh, I, I think that's what the adults have to do in the room right now quickly and uh, we got five games this week and get them pointed right toward that. So we'll, we'll, we'll take the good things that have happened. We'll take the challenges from this weekend and march right into another five-game series this week. Coach, you talked a minute ago about your relief pitching. Um, you guys were struggling yesterday and into today. How much do you credit that to lack of offense? Um, I don't, you know, I don't know. I, I think, um, you know, definitely when you're scoring runs, it's, it's easier pitches to make. And from a relief pitcher standpoint, just – Going back through my career and just talking to players um, at different intervals, I would say that you know you, you can feel more pressure in one pitch, and all you can do is try to create a bit your best pitch and make it. So I, I think there's some credibility to that because you feel like I can't give up another run, and, and and that affects you. But you know, good teams and good relievers, you know, they get to the point where, hey, this is the pitch I'm trying to execute here and just do it to the best of my ability. So. It, 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 that, that could have happened because it just kept like they felt like they kept having opportunities to score um, in this short term, but that, that does even out over time. But uh, yeah, when you're when you're up six or seven runs, you're probably not thinking, you're not holding that ball the same way, thinking like, man, I can't give up anything here. Um, so, and we played from ahead, and I don't think we played till from behind till we got to this series. So we have to figure out, you know, how to feel and how to execute pitches and in both settings. You talked about a little, a little adversity without Steven and Kaysen coming into it. Now some real adversity. Are you anxious to see how kind of your team responds now? Yeah. And, you know, I, I was looking for it yesterday and today. I thought Friday's loss was enough, enough adversity there. And uh, a credit to them just continuing to play better baseball than we did for, for this series. Um, so I, I just, you know, I just, I, I give them a ton of credit. But at, at the same time, I'm not, probably looking at these three games defining our entire season either. Anything specific or a few things specific you really want this team to get better at or work on over the next few days or weeks? Yeah, I just, I don't think you lose anything that quick. I think it's just uh, maybe stepping outside the frame and, and, and grasping reality there of uh, how many hits that we've had and how many runs that we've scored. I, I think 61 runs in those first five games. And um, I think Central Florida was playing better than our first two opponents who, um, you know, was a regional team and another team coming here 2-0. Uh, I just think it was a rhythm and a momentum of a of a one single series against one opponent that I'm not excited about. And how we couldn't get back in the fray or couldn't get back in the in the moment with, uh, with one team, but um, the realization and, and, and getting out of this one feeling right here and getting back to the overall perspective is what I'd like to see our guys get to, you know, in the next 24, 48 hours. On offense, I mean, is it a mentality thing when you're not hitting with runners in scoring position? I mean, is that all between your ears? Sure, and we'll have ebb and pl flows there where yeah. everything we hit will fall and then we'll go through another flow where you'll hit it hard. Uh, we hit the ball harder today than we did yesterday, but it was uh, L7 and L9 and uh, a double play L4. We, we actually, if you really graded uh, bat, 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 we actually hit the ball harder today than we did in yesterday's contest. So sometimes they just go right at them and then, you know, their power, every one of their balls hit the wall or, or left the park. You know, their opposite field foul balls were leaving the park and still going up. 
Uh, I've, I've never seen that much power before.